Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again, oh yeah. And uh, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I just stuck this to the board, I need it. <laughs> I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm going to be doing this. It's a, uh, I'm going to call it a sunrise. It's either a sunrise or a sunset. <laughs> but I'm going to go for sunrise. And... Uh, what I'll do is I'll put the uh, image up on the screen so you can see it as I paint it and uh, maybe I'll put the image there for a minute just while we mix the orange colour so you can see. So I'm going to grab myself a brush, my uh, nice little white handled brush, <laughs> I quite like these ones. And I'm going to get some, oh, let me show you the colours actually. <laughs> I was going to get ready to dive right in. I'm always uh, a bit too eager, I suppose. <laughs> but we've got some uh, cadmium red, yellow ochre. It's the colours that I always use, like I've said before, always using the red and yellow. Cadmium red, yellow ochre. It's cadmium red light, by the way. Um, ultramarine blue, ivory black, there's a lot of black in this picture, it's really a contrast between the sky and the trees, and then titanium white, <laughs> always use titanium white, because um, I've got a nice big tube of it and it's good, it's a good white, and uh, also I'm using, uh, if you've watched a few of my episodes, you know, I use the Artisan Windsor Newton Artisan Water Mixable Oil Colours because they're easy to clean up your brushes and you don't use any paint thinner etc to uh, wash brushes or mix or anything. You use water, soap and water. So let's, let's mix this orange colour. Um, obviously orange, yellow and red. <laughs> It's an easy one. I'm sure most of you know that. Probably all of you. <laughs> one of the things we learn when we're a kid, isn't it? I'm uh, wondering whether I'm going to go brighter than that colour. I'm not sure. Put a bit of white in it. I just want to really capture that sunrisey effect. Probably put a little bit black in it. Let's just see what that does. I'm trying to get close. That's pretty close, actually. It might have been more red. Let's move this image a second, move it to the side. I don't need to do a drawing today. <laughs> I'll just paint straight on. So we'll have a, a low horizon line. Horizons here. And then uh, I'm using a canvas today, ordinary canvas. I bought a few of these a while ago. Get a touch of water, just a touch. All this colour. Just scrubbing it in. It goes a little bit uh, paler, so let's get a bit of white. It goes a bit paler as then it goes into the uh, sort of greyish colour. Of course, we can change things as we go. We don't have to have it exact. <laughs> if you've seen me do these, I just use it as a guide and then I start seeing things I want to do and I just go for it, really. OK. 
way. Touch my lot. Okay. It's going out the whole way across that. I kind of want it to be more red and orange in a place where the sun is. I want it to be a bit stronger. More red, I think. Just want to make it a bit more obvious. Yeah, I think that's alright. The yellow ochre in there. Like a nice golden yellow. And I'm, I'm going to start adding a bit of this in here just to break the colour up a bit. Okay, that'll do. Now I want some black. What I'm thinking of is mixing a little bit of black and blue. Black and blue. And a bit of white. Like that to make this grey colour that it then blends into. Yeah, something like this. Listen. <laughs> I always find different canvases make different sounds when you're scrubbing. <laughs> so I'm just going to fill this all the way along. Just moving the mic there. And the cable was getting in the way. <laughs> so it kind of needs a bit, a bit more blue, I think. I tend to uh, mix colours a lot as I'm painting. And just put the colour on the canvas and then carry on. Sometimes I spend a bit longer on the palette. It just depends, really. There's no uh, no exact science for me. It's uh, a lot of it's instinctive, I guess. Or just from practice, you get used to doing it. Okay, 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 okay. Now, I don't want to go too dark because the trees that we're going to put in front are going to be the darkest. So, just looking. I could do with a bigger brush. That one's a bit small. Maybe I'll go with this one. It's a little bit bigger. Get some of that. Blue and black, black and blue. It's about as bright, I mean, as dark as it needs to be there. I think I'll just zoom out this camera a bit. Yeah, that's probably better. I just wanted to uh, make sure I wasn't disappearing all the time. <laughs> so if I think of something important to say, I could look at the camera. <laughs> there, there it goes. It goes 
from a orange to a grey to a black and then once I've filled this area up a bit give it more white then I'll start blending it a bit more get a tiny drop of water when you use water with these, it can make your colours go a little milky, but then uh, as it dries, the milkiness goes, so... It's just a warning for you. You start using them and you start to panic. Uh, ah, the colours are all changing. What's going on? It's because of that. Throw a bit of blue in there. Just scrubbing this colour in. It's lighter towards the horizon. Okay, just sit back and have a look. Yeah, I think that's come on quite good. Easy. <laughs> I'm just going to zoom in a bit now. Maybe that is better. So I noticed it was catching some of the light. Anyway, must carry on painting. Keep keep up the pace. This uh, this lesson today, it, it's a. Uh, a beginner's lesson. It's quite a, uh, a simple painting that you can do. Even if this is the first painting, the first one ever, you can do this one, no problem. I think the big problem we have when we first start painting, we want to do something really hard. <laughs> I don't know why that is. We throw ourselves in the deep end. And then we get stressed because we can't do it. Well, maybe that was just me. <laughs> okay. Give it more white. Coming into this orange bit now. I'm going to change brushes. Because I think it'd probably be better if I use this orangey brush we used earlier. Just wipe the excess off it and just keep it in the orangey colour because this black is going to uh, make the orange disappear. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll blend it in this line where the colours mix and bring it together and then we'll take it upwards. And it should and we can go up a bit further. And then we get a nice transitional area. Just wipe the excess on a paper towel and I'll go back in. And then I'll start going up. Make sure we get all the areas. Okay, you could even go in with a soft brush if you wished, just to soften areas out. I think that'll do for the sky. Maybe I missed a little bit in the area there. Use this brush again. Yeah, no, we're okay again. <laughs> I just noticed a bit that was uh, didn't look quite right 
Now, um, what we need to do is the foreground. The foreground is black, so we need to go to the dark side again. <laughs> this is what this channel is all about. Bringing you across to the dark side of painting. <laughs> so let's throw in some dark, our favorite area, the paint in the dark area. <laughs> Just throwing in some black. This is the ground. And this is what's gonna give this sky a nice contrast. Because you need light. <laughs> need light. <laughs> I'll finish with that. Just, we need light. No, we need light. <laughs> oh God, I can't say it. We need dark for our light to show. So to make something look dark, we need light. And to make something look light, we need dark. You know? It's pretty simple, really. When you think about it. You probably already knew that anyway. Just in case someone's first go at painting, they might not know. So, gotta, gotta mention it. So I'm just filling this in. Filling in our horizon. Looking to see what I wanted. If I wanted little details like a little house back there or something. And put it in. No, done. <laughs> but if you wanted little details, you could paint them in, no problem. Just paint like a silhouette of things. That would work pretty good. Oh, the ice cream man. <laughs> Can't get away from him. Even if I decide to, you know, I'm going to do a painting now. It's in the middle of the night. <laughs> the ice cream man comes. <laughs> no, not really. But whenever I decide to do a painting, the, uh, the ice cream man always just seems come. Cool. I don't understand that. Right. So, here we go. We've got a nice um, gradient sky. We've got nice black area we've got a dint in the canvas which i forgot about <laughs> don't worry i'll get rid of that soon um come to think of it if you do ever have a canvas with a dint in it all you do is put some water on the back of it and then the water as it dries it stretches the canvas back out which is what would have been nice is if i did that <laughs> but i forgot so I'm just going to get some white and yellow, yellow ochre, yellow ochre and white, yellow ochre and white. I want to create the light spot. I want to create the light spot. So I get a little bit of colour, a little bit of colour, and we've got a light spot. It's about here. Bink. That's where our light spot is. That's where the sun is. And then, what I could do with doing, get a bit of red in with this light. And let's sort of bleed that light into the black. Like that. And like that. And what it needs is more red. Yeah. Let's just go over that. I don't like it. <laughs> Wasn't quite right. What I need is do need some red and white and maybe a little yellow as well. I just want to sort of bleed it in. I 
where you get sort of a glow from the sun. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I might introduce a bit of light. Let's get into a bit of this orange. I just want a, a bit of a glow around it as well. Get a bit of red. And then we'll pick up some more white again. We'll put in that white spot. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. It's way off, isn't it? way off. So let's get some black on this brush. I want to start putting in some trees and I need a branch covering that because it's really annoying. So on, on the original one there's a tree that goes, uh, goes kind of there doesn't it? I need to make this trunk a bit more solid. Trunk there. And I'll have a branch that goes there that gets rid of that. <laughs> that annoying bit there. And we'll, we'll, we'll make sure we leave areas. Now, you could do this in more than one sitting. You could paint in the background and then and then put in the trees afterwards. Or well, you can do it all in one go, like I'm going to do. And get some black and have a go at putting uh, some little tree foliage in. I'm just gonna like I'm just gonna push up push up with my bristles on these. Leave a few gaps. In fact, I'm not going to do it like that. I'm going to spread paint out. I'm going to use a smaller brush. This one's too big for what I want to do now. I change my mind as I go. <laughs> what I'm thought of is I could sort of have quite thick paint, thick black. And I can sort of move it like this. I haven't really done anything with too thick a paint on for a while. I'll create the indication of a few leaves using this paint like that. I do like using it like this actually. It's fun. So I'm just I'm just very light. Very light pressure. Just letting the, uh, the black kind of just pull off. And that way I can get it quite thick, put loads of uh, loads of paint on there. I need some more paint I know. Need more. I'm using ivory black. Ivory black. Okay, let's get some more black and da, da, da. But you can do anything with this uh, this sky if you if you wanted to do 
somebody stood near the trees you could do that I'm gonna make my tree look a little like it I feel like it wants to be blowing in the wind like this way So what I'll do is at this side of the tree, I'll have it going like that, and then this side, I can have it going sort of across. Yeah, I quite like that tree. I'm gonna do another one, but I'm, I'm gonna do my own trees. I'm not gonna follow the uh, picture completely, because I wanna do one sort of on its side. It's sort of blown, going with that wind idea. It's blowing this way. Blowing this way. Put a few branches in with this, by the way. A few branches. And this is blowing. Like that. Put a few leaves on. There's a branch, it's going that way. Sort of sends this painting, makes it a little bit more um, dynamic I guess that's going that way big blob of paint there I like big blobs but that was a bit too much <laughs> just sort of uh, let, letting the paint come off I sort of roll my brush and let it move just let it come off yeah I like that I like that tree looks like it's in the wind just thought maybe since it's windy I could give the effect of some like the little forget that house back there now <laughs> some grassy area that's blowing of course we don't want to spoil that so we'll leave that bit there and then we'll go think there's, there's a tree further away, which I quite like. So I don't want to lose that. So let's put, put a tree further away. But again, be creative. If you want it to be blowing. You can do that. I decided that I don't really like the uh, that sort of grass bit there, so I'm going to get rid of it like that. Just sort of create a different look to it. But yeah. I think this gives you a good idea on how to do a, a simple a simple sky and then uh, a few trees, a few little trees, however you want. And uh, yeah, I think we'll call this one finished. Like I said, it's a fun, easy little painting you could do. 
So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in another one. Cheers, bye.